click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, today we are going to study about all the disadvantages happening due to the scales and the sludge which are formed in the boiler. So what exactly is the boiler used for? Boiler is used for converting the hard water to soft water. So water is boiled to a large extent in a big boiler and that is the reason why we can get all the salts and all the other precipitates down and we can get pure water out of it. That is the soft water. But because of these salts and salts which are present inside the boiler, they form something known as scales and sludges. Now these scales and sludges have a lot of disadvantages on it. Let us see in detail what exactly happens. Disadvantages of scale and sludge formation in boilers. So what exactly happens is, whenever my water boils, it leaves two things back inside the boiler. One is scale and one is a sludge. Now both these scales and sludges, what happen, they come, cover the inner coating of the boiler. They form the thick coatings inside the boilers. Now scales are hard coatings, while the sludges are soft and slimy. Let us see all the disadvantages of them. The first is wastage of fuel. Whenever I am boiling my boiler, my only aim is to get water to a certain degree Celsius. But because of the scales and the sludges present in it, they would not allow the heat to pass through the boiler into the water which is present in it. And that is the reason why I have to give more heat to it. To give more heat to it, I have to increase the temperature. That is, I have to add up more fuel to make more heat. So that is the first point, wastage of fuel. The scales are hard and bad conductors of heat. Hence, it does not allow the transfer of heat from hot plates of boiler to the water inside. Therefore, in order to get steady supply of steam, more heat has to be applied. This results in large consumption of fuel. The wastage of fuel depends upon the thickness of the scale. Depending upon how thick the scale is. Now, what exactly the scale is? Scale is all the layer or all the hard layer of impurities and the dirt particles which were present in the previous batches of hard water which got settled down into this boiler. Now, because of this layer, the heat which is present down or which is helping to boil the entire boiler which contains water is being trapped over here. If I have a small layer or a thin layer of it, then the heat can go easily. But if I have a thick layer of scale, then I need the, all the heat which is given from here is being trapped over here and the water above it does not get boiled at all. And because of that, I need to put in a lot of heat to make sure that the heat transfers through the hot plates, through the scales, into the water. Second point, lowering safety of boiler. Due to scale formation, overheating of boiler is to be done in order to maintain a constant supply of steam. The overheating of the boiler tube makes the boiler material softer and weaker and this causes distortion of boiler tube. So what exactly happens over here is the boiler which is made up of certain material is used to a certain amount of heat. So if I have a boiler made up of certain metal which is used to let's say constant 100 degrees Celsius of heat. But because of the formations of thick or thin layers of scales, I need to give 120, 130, 140 degrees Celsius. This is just an example for reference. So what happens over here, the boiler itself is not used to 120 to 150 degrees of Celsius of heat on a constant level. And because of that, it may risk due to the breaking of boiler or the distortion of the entire boiler itself. Third point, danger of explosion. When thick scales crack due to uneven expansion of scale and boiler material, the water comes suddenly in contact with overheated iron plates. This causes the formation of large amount of steam suddenly inside the boiler. Hence, sudden high pressure is developed, which may cause explosion in the boiler. Now, for example, imagine I have a boiler. I have thick layer of scale. I am providing heat to it. Now, this scale was formed many years ago and it was there as it is. And I, I knew that I have to provide constant overheating to the boiler. Now, at one point of time, if at all there is a crack formation in the scale, that one crack will lead to all the heat coming, extra heat coming down from here into the water. So what happens over here is the water may get contacted with a lot of amount of heat than expected just because of one crack formation in the scale. And because of that, there may be a lot of steam formation because the water needed 100 degrees Celsius, but maybe now it is getting at around 150 degrees Celsius. And because of that, the entire boiler is filled up a lot of amount of steam. 
Okay, so the boiler is not used to A, so much of heat and B, so much of steam. And because of that, the boiler may simply explode. So again, this is one of the most important points There is a danger of explosion. Fourth point, decrease in efficiency. Scales may sometimes deposit in the valves and the condensers of the boiler and choking them partially. This results in decrease in efficiency of the boiler. Scales and sludges in generally also decrease the efficiency of the boiler because we have to provide the boiler with over fuels that is to heat the temperature or to overheat the boilers. Then again they may crack up or distort the entire system of the boilers. So again eventually the efficiency of the boiler is going to decrease. Point number five, shortening the life of boiler. The life of a boiler is shortened due to the following reasons. The first one, the steam reacts with red hot iron plates of the boiler forming non-adherent iron oxide and liberates the hydrogen gas. This causes thinning of the boiler plates with the continuous reaction of the steam. Now what exactly happens over here? The scales are made up of certain salts. They are made up of certain chemicals. So if at all, we are not even looking at the physical aspect as of now. We are just looking at the chemical aspect of it. Let's just see that the scale is not doing any harm of transferring of heat. But yet it is made up of chemical. And that is the reason why it will react with the boiler plates at the bottom or from the four walls of the boiler with the steam. And because of this reaction, the boiler may get weakened. The lifespan of the boiler may get shortened. Let us look at the reactions and see what exactly happens. So here I have 3 Fe. When I'm talking about 3 Fe, this ferrous is for the boiler plate or the boiling plate. The hot iron plate which is there is made up of ferrous. Plus 4 H2O. Now when I'm talking about H2O, it's not water but it's in the steam formation. And steam has a lot more energy than water and that is the reason why because of these high temperatures, this reaction can happen very quickly. So what exactly happens? We get Fe3O4. What happens over here? This Fe and this oxygen forms Fe3O4. Fe3O4 is nothing but our iron oxide or our rust. Rust is nothing but corrosion of the metal and because of that, the metal starts corroding. That means the entire boiler starts disintegrating. Plus 4 H2 gas. This is the hydrogen gas which gets evolved. Now let us see the balancing of this entire equation. We have 3 Fe plus 4 H2O forming Fe3O4 plus 4 H2 gas. Over here I have 3 iron, over here also I have 3 iron. Let us see the number of oxygens, over here I have 4 oxygens, over here also I have O4. Plus 4 H2O, over here also this 4 oxygen is 1 over here. Now whatever is remaining is here, 4 H2, this is my 4 H2 which is nothing but hydrogen gas. Let us see at the second point, I have magnesium chloride present in the scale will bring about corrosion of tubes and boiler plates like chain reaction producing HCl again and again. So now what exactly happens over here is if I have magnesium chloride in the scales, this magnesium chloride will lead to chain reaction. What do we mean by chain reaction? Chain reaction is nothing but one reaction leading to another reaction, the second reaction leading to third reaction and the entire chain of reaction keeps on happening. And this chain reaction is worse. Why? Because each and every reaction at each and every stage, this is nothing but disintegrating the entire boiler. And this chain reaction forms a very strong acid, hydrochloric acid, which is HCl. This HCl is not at all good for the walls or the material or the metal of which the boiler is made up of, which is generally iron. Let us see the series of reactions which actually take place. We have MgCl2 plus 2H2O forming MgOH twice plus 2HCl. This MgCl2 is nothing but my magnesium chloride. This magnesium chloride, which is present in the scale, reacts with 2H2O. That means that this magnesium chloride is not directly reacting with the plates of the boilers. It is reacting with the steam which is present inside the boiler. So I have MgCl2 plus 2H2O forming MgOH precipitate plus 2HCl formation of very strong gas 2HCl. Now let us just look at the balancing of these reactions. I have 1 mg on the entire reactant side and 1 mg on the entire product side. Cl2, 2 Cl. Over here also I have 2 Cl. Plus let us see the number of hydrogens and oxygens I have in all 4 hydrogens, 2 H2. Over here also I have 1, 2, 3, 4. 4 hydrogens and 2 oxygens which are over here. 
Now this two HCl will now directly react with my Fe. Fe is nothing but the material with which the hot iron plate is made or the entire boiler is made. So I have Fe plus two HCl forming FeCl2 plus H2 gas. H2 gas is just my byproduct. So what happens over here? Let us just look at the balancing of this reaction. I have one Fe on the reactant side. One Fe on the product side. I have two H's and two Cl's on my reactant side, which is over here Cl2 and H2 gas. So this is also two chlorines and two hydrogens on the product side. Now this FeCl2 again gets reacted with two H2O. So what exactly is happening in this chain of reactions? The scale gets reacts with steam. This reaction forms a product which gets reacted with Fe which forms a product and this product again gets reacted with steam. So I have FeCl2 plus 2H2O forming FeOH twice plus 2HCl. This FeOH twice is nothing but a smaller version of your rust. Why? Because this has iron and also oxygen in it. So now if you react this further and further maybe we can get Fe2O3 which is nothing but my iron oxide or my rust. Let us just look at the balancing of this reaction. FeCl2 plus 2H2O. Over here I have 1 Fe. Over here I have 1 Fe. Over here I have Cl2 that is 2 chlorines. Over here also I have 2 chlorines. Plus 2H2O. When I am talking about 2H2O, this 2H2 is nothing but 4 hydrogens which are over here. 1, 2, 3, 4. And 2 oxygens which are over here. So this is a chain reaction, that is the series of reaction and these reactions not only directly happen with the walls of the boiler or with the hot iron plates, they happen with the help of steam. So one thing reacts with the steam forming something else, that something else will react with the hot iron plate, that will react again with the steam and this will eventually start disintegrating the entire boiler. So over here we studied all the disadvantages of the scales and sludges which are present in the boiler and we can see how it actually affects the entire boiler and can disintegrate or explode it. Thank you so much for watching this video. Stay tuned to Ikeda and subscribe to Ikeda.